everybody welcome back to 10 pines bluff episode number 14. when we last left off we had finished the walls and had started working on the guard towers so guard towers is what we're going to continue on with today I gotta remember to switch all of those out for the auto close ones since the door closing thing won't work on them. Uh, thank you everybody for all the recent love and support. And if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find our mod list in our community tab and feel free to check for the link in our description to join our discord server. So, oh, I can't get into build mode from down here. Hang on. So I say, let's jump right into it, but first I gotta be in the build area. All right, let's turn off our X, turn off our workshop timeout. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit of running back and forth here, and there really isn't an easy way to get back in and well I guess maybe over here say to get in and out of the build area so I might save that one um for later cuz you know let's see can we do anything with this yeah this is in the buildable area so let's work on this one um looks like we're gonna need a rock or something right down there Too bad I can't. Is that a single rock? It is. Is that hiding something? I mean, other than the edge? Because I was thinking that would make a good little spot to walk through. So, let's turn off surface snap and let's push this in some more. Oh, are you... Hold on, why are you being difficult? Let's try that again. I'm pretty sure I put this here, so... Oh, it was covering that. Well, we might be able, we might be able to finagle something in here, because I would really like them to be able to walk through here. Um... So can we, hmm, what can we do here? Um, hmm, and that was totally inside the build area too, so I don't know why I was throwing a fit. What if we bring this back down here, but put it down like that instead? Now the only other thing is those right there. Um, we almost need something for those to sit on. Can I bring you back in just a little bit too? Okay, guys, uh, sorry about that. I had thought I had silenced my phone, and I had not. And that was a phone call that I actually had to take, so we are back. Um, while I was on that phone call, I was looking around a little bit to try to figure out, you know, what to do with this, especially since those posts were not sitting on the ground. Um... And, I mean, settlers probably aren't going to walk through here anyway. Um, but also, I tried several things over here to just kind of make that, like, slope down um, and blend in and make it, like, a more natural walk path, but also still get something underneath the posts. And, um, turns out, 
if you actually get something in the center high enough to touch the bottom of the post, you can't actually walk through there. You get hung up on these. So we're just going to leave it as it is, but I did throw a rock in right here just to, you know, kind of hide the, or so those weren't floating so bad, I guess. Not hide them, but so that they weren't floating. Now, um, so hold on, I think. No, this is still in the build area. I don't have to back up. Um, so we kind of need to decide if we're going to, like, cover part of this stuff in. So I'm actually going to think about that for a little bit. And we're going to move on to one of these other ones. Um, while I try to decide how much of this I want to, like, uh, enclose. Um, or if I even want to enclose any of it. So let's head on and find another one. The problem is a lot of these are going to be outside the borders, like clear over there. We can maybe work on this end one over here by the water tower, even though I'll have to place stuff and run out with it, it's not too far outside the border. So yeah, let's start with this one. Okay, so I think let's, um, go find a wall here. but I don't really like that as plaster on the inside. I think that's supposed to be plaster, or is that wood? Oh, I guess maybe that's wood. Okay, that would be fine. That would be fine. Alright, so let's place that here. Let's go see what that looks like. I'm assuming... Oh yeah, I was afraid of that, that it's going to try to... So we'll probably have to manually place it, which is fine. Um, so we turn surface and... Well, actually, I don't mind if surface snap is on, but we need object snap off. If I, need, <clears throat> if I think we need to go up or down. We're still a little crooked, aren't we? Nah, that's not too bad. Um, now do we have a gap over here? Teensy one. I think that probably closed it on that side, too. Yep. And still get over the threshold and still walk underneath. So I think that's probably good. Come down just a little bit. Alright. So that takes care of that. You know, and this, I put this one on the corner here like this because in my mind, you know, when they need to do any maintenance on the water tower or anything, you know, they'll come out this way and take care of it. I mean, they could come out the other way too, but it's a lot further to walk. Alright, so now we need a way up here. So let's go find some stairs. Whoops. Running into a tree. I'm wondering if maybe... Because between this this piece right here and, you know, all of this stuff, it's going to be kind of hard to get some stairs in there. So I'm wondering if we maybe put a floor up here and then have the stairs maybe come up this way to it. So let's try that. Um, 
just go into regular wood. Not a carpeted floor. There we go. That'll be fine. Mm, doesn't look like it's gonna snap, so... Oh, whoops. close. We'll probably put some more. I mean, we can't really fall down there, but I'll probably go find some scrap pieces of plywood and finish filling in this floor. Um, or we could maybe finagle one of these in here. It might even snap to this one. So let's actually just see what that looks like. Um, oh, you know what? I have objects snap off, don't I? Well, that's fine right there. Duh. So I don't know if this... Yeah. Well, I mean, it snaps there, and then we could just push it over. It's a weird place for it to snap, but... Can't be choosers. Oh, we got a nice little gap over there, so we're gonna have to fill that in too. I did not notice that. I wonder if maybe we just put. Um, maybe we'll just put some posts there. I think that'll be fine. Alright, now will this snap? The way you will. There you go. got some flash in, but if we raise this up a couple, um, can I grab the floor through there? Yes. Now let's see what happens. Almost. So... Let's try that. That looks better. Um, why is that flashing? It's the light. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do the post right now before I forget about it. Uh, oh, nope. Still need to be in here. And maybe if we just grab a couple of these. I don't know for sure how many of them we'll need, but possibly even just one. Let's do this from the outside. It's not even remotely the right spot. I don't need to be in quite that far. Yeah, that takes care of that. Um, so now do we want the same thing at the top, I think? So we might bring that other one down. We'll just have to see here in a second. away from me. That's weird. Let's do that then. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. 
Alright. We don't actually need this one. Um, now I wonder, can we get... Um... I mean, I know we can get one up there, but I'm thinking... We're gonna need a shack roof probably up there, so they have some cover from the rain. Um, let's get some stairs first. And let me use like these. I think we'll be fine. Probably fall off of them five million times, but that's okay. Okay, now let's see if we can find. Um, what do we want to do here? I wonder where was that at? Was that in CVC? I think so. We could do. This might actually be too tall. I mean, we could do something like this, but I was kind of thinking something um, like metal, maybe. We could do maybe. I don't think the railings would stack on top of that. But what if? Hang on. What if we do? Um, what am I thinking of here? I think they're in CBC or Kiro. Um, I mean, there's these, but that's not quite what I was thinking of. finish looking through here so okay so it wasn't in here I actually think it might have been in here <gasps> let's just do partially sanded that'll be fine Do we want to, hmm, do we want to maybe, let's see, do we want to wall this whole thing up, up here? Give them like an actual covered area in here. And I don't want to use that one with the tall... Though I'm not seeing, it must be in G2M then the wall I'm thinking of. Um, so this does go on for quite a ways, so let's just keep going and see what else is in here. metal it is yeah oh I mean maybe this would work up there and then we just put some metal let's do that okay let's see let's do this one and then I think we'll just put some like metal um, scrap pieces on the front of that like for more reinforcement this of course is not going to oh I gotta place it in here anyway
Sorry if you can hear my dog whining. DOG's mowing the lawn, so... We have a jungle back there because it has not stopped raining. It even actually rained this morning, like early this morning, but... Uh, it's it's not super dry, but the grass at least is all dry. I mean, we still have some kind of lower areas that are, like the dirt's still soggy, but the grass itself is dry. So we're just gonna wing it. Because we're gonna have family in town this weekend. So. Uh, and I don't want there to be a jungle back there. Um, I actually think this is supposed to go the other way. Or does it look like that on the other side, too? Let's go up here and see. Oh, wow. Frame drops. Yeah, that's supposed to go the other way. Um, okay. So let's go turn that around. I think, mm, I want to say the grass is probably a foot tall. And, you know, we never let it get that high, but there just has been nonstop rain. We've been very fortunate for the most part with all the bad storms we've been having here in Texas that really here specifically we haven't been hit that hard so like where I actually where we actually live um, lots of other places have been hit super hard so um, do these have any half walls maybe we just I don't know that I want to do this particular pattern but if they have any half walls they do. Maybe we could plaster this on the front for added protection. In which case, it would not have mattered if we had left that face in, but you yeah, know. I already did it, so. Oh, they're not the same. The same width, but that's okay. We'll, um. Oops, figured out. That's odd that they're smaller. Um, now, oh, that's weird. All right, so we're gonna need two sheets here since these aren't the same width as a regular wall. Stuck on the stairs. Oh god, I hope you guys can't hear the lawnmower. Alright, I think that'll work. Um... I mean, really, if we were going to do that, we should probably put some metal on the outside here, but I'm not going to. It's all the protection you get. A little bit right there. Okay, now to decide if we're going to completely close like this and this in. We have another guard post right here, and another, so I don't think we necessarily need this tower to guard that direction. 
So let's do that because in my mind, somebody's going to be posted here like 24 seven. I mean, there's always going to be somebody here just because there is a door to get in. Um, so, oops, let's, um, back to the partially sanded wood. Um, do we have any like regular size walls here? These little end caps, but that's not quite what we're looking for. Oh wow, we got giant ones. Nice. Tall ones. You would think I would know what all is in this menu by now. Um, but I don't think well, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think there's gonna be any other walls back here though. So let's go. I didn't really want the really tall wall. I think that's gonna be too much. Yeah, it takes forever to get through this menu. If that's the case, we might have to go to a different section. I feel like the other ones, the other, I guess, what would it be? Colors? These aren't really colors. I mean, they have the doorway one. Are these? I guess these are shorter. I don't know why I didn't think there wasn't shorter ones. So let's do this here. No, come on. Stop sticking to the fence. There you go. Oh, whoops. I think I'm just balancing on the edge of that stair. There we go. Um, and then we do a capped doorway. That's gonna get annoying, but oh, don't tell me you're still not in there. Still not? All right. Now I'm stuck under there. Right. Oh. Um. Okay. Why can I not? Oh, because that sticks out. So we're gonna have to. There we go. All right, now we need another wall. I mean, nobody's really gonna see it anyway, so let's just go with this one. Oh, crap. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to make you guys like sit here and watch me run in and out. Because A, I forget half the time. Oops, that's not snap to the right spot. Um, excuse me. There you go. Um, but B, I also have to run back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, there's a little gap right here, but we might throw a post in there. Call it good. Okay, so now we need a roof. Oops. There was some in here, but I don't know. Um, I mean, we can just do... Yeah, if we do something like this... And just have them... Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Come on, out the door. Out the door. So we need two of these. Give me that one. And this way, I think. Is that the correct way? Yes. And there's gonna be lots of holes, but it's still better than no shelter at all. 
give him a little fire barrel or something to keep warm. Um, I don't suppose you're gonna want to snap where I want you to. I think he did, but I don't know if he snapped the correct way. Um, I can't tell from in here. So let's go look on the roof. Man, these frame drops today. Yeah, you did. Okay. Of course, it's really only like that in build mode because it's selecting everything. Um, so we're going to need a post right here then. And I think we need a post up there just to you know, kind of block off that corner. And then we can see out this way for people approaching. Nice little area maybe with a, a cot here so that, like if there can be you know two people on duty or something we'll figure that out <clears throat> um, all right so let's get our post in here We're gonna just use one of these, and I think that is this one gonna be tall enough? Or do I need the really big one? Uh, no, we better have that one. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and then. That'll be fine. Okay, and then let's grab. Well, you know what? I think this size will be fine. It's not that big of a gap, is it? No, that'll be fine, yeah. So we just need to snip it and grab it. Alright. I want you on the inside corner, please. Thank you. You look more cohesive there. More intentional. Alright. So I think that takes care of that one. Now, we need to do something with this one. So let's go ahead and. Let's see. Oh, well, that's not quite the prefabs I was looking for. Actually, I think they're no, not on floors. Uh, flat, outer, corner. Oh, you know what? I, that's because they're in... Whoops. USO, I think. Wood wood prefabs. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, Alright, so if we can... I mean, that's kind of sort of where I want it, but not really. If we can get it facing the right direction. We can just nudge it over. Whoops, no. Come on. It's sort of where I want it. And I don't know if we want it up that high. Because I mean, if we go that high... I mean, sure, they can see really well, but it kind of defeats the... Um, purpose of having that little lookout. So let's maybe, let's drop this down. And maybe we've got some bushes growing through, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, maybe come down a 
smidge more. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's better. Um, I mean, the guards are going to catch most people approaching from this way. And these guys are going to see way down this way easy. So, yeah, I think that's good. Um, and then, so we're going to need a couple more posts. But before we do that, let's, um... What do we want to do for walls? Because I don't think I want to close this one all the way in. So maybe we just do railings on this one. Maybe some of these. Yeah, so let's do four of these. Actually, let's do five. See, that was one, two, three, four, five. All right, you come here. And, I mean, there's still a lot of defensive stuff to do, so um, there's probably quite a bit of this that I am going to just go ahead and do off camera. Um, you know, is it, I mean, because this is already episode three of, you know, getting the defense up and we still got to figure out you know where to put all the turrets on the outside because they're clearly not doing any good in here um let's see the bushes on this side so let's put that there and they can walk in up here but that means we're probably going to need some little stairs um but yeah i mean you can only watch so much of the same thing um so, and you know, wh um, you know, whatever I do do off camera, I will, of course, you know, recap. Oops, sorry, I think I just bumped the microphone. I had an itch. <laughs> um, an itch on my forehead, right above my eye, making it water. You guys are gonna be lucky if I don't sneeze unexpectedly. Uh. So that's that one done. Let's see. Next one's going to be over here. I think that's the next one. Yeah, that's the next one. So we're going to do a similar type thing here. But I was thinking... I mean... I was thinking about doing something a little different here. If I can find it. Is that where I want to put it? Okay, so we have that one left. Then I think there's... Whoop. Oh, God, I still gotta put something in there. Um, yeah, so there's that one left. This one is done, because it was an all-in-one. And then we've got this one done. And because this is such a sheer wall face, you know, we didn't put one in the middle here. Ooh, I still gotta figure out what to do with that. Okay, so then... And we've got this one in the corner. Alright, so let's run back over here. going. Yeah, over here. Getting lost in my own settlement. Um, alright, so let's see if I can find the piece I'm thinking of. <sighs> the question is, is where is it gonna be? Hmm. Um... I mean, 
that one down. Well, maybe not yet. Hold on. We got that one. That's just a wall. That's just a wall. Oh. Hey, I kind of like that too. Or did I use that already? I might have used that already. Yeah, I did. Never mind. I do think this one fits over here pretty good though, so let's go ahead and do that. It's not the one I was thinking of. If I run across that somewhere, I might use it on one of the other ones. Where's my gap? There it is. Um, the only thing is, is it's probably going to snap where I don't want it. Even if I raise it up. So, alright, so let's turn that off again. And let's come back to like there. And maybe go down some. there. Um, I do need to actually kind of straighten you out though. And go in some. About right there. I mean, they don't get a real clear view that way though, do, though, do they? If I bring this in, then that sticks out through that, which wouldn't actually happen unless we... Snaggle the bricks in there between them. That's a little better. I don't feel like they have that good of a view with this setup, though. Hmm. Okay, well, what if I do bring it up higher? I mean, even though we use the... It doesn't really make a difference, because really, I guess, what's bothering me is the brick just seems a little tall. Of course, we still have Brotherhood of Steel down, down here, too. Um, Alright, we'll just leave that one for now. I'll think on that one. Not 100% sold, but I don't, I don't hate it, but I'm not 100% sold. Um, so I'm not going to build, like, a covered area for it just yet until I kind of decide if we're going to keep that one. So then that leaves us going back to... Let's turn that off so it's not grabbing everything on the way by. Ugh. I'll have to fix that again. All I got to do to fix that is just be in the build area and then come over here and get out of build area. Nope. But you have to do it here, and then then you'll be good again. You know, as long as you don't leave the settlement or um, sometimes I wasn't quite in the right area, so I'll have to come over here and do it too. Um, but they're just not quite all loaded in the in the whatever little cell that you're in outside the build area, so they don't. So if you're not close enough to them all when you get out of build area, then they don't disappear. Okay, so this one... Alright, let's jump up here. I don't think we want this... 
Actually, this high might be perfect if we put, like, railings on the front, now that I think about it. Um, especially since this is where our, our provisioners come up. Come up, uh, I don't know if you can see that over there, but right straight in front of me, right here where my cursor is, there's a board with an arrow that points the way, you know, up into the settlement. Um... So that's the path that the Brahmin and the Provisioners normally take. Mm. Speaking of people with Brahmins, is that another Brahmin for sale? Are you just always here? Kelly, that was her name. No, I don't want to buy another Brahmin, or at least not for here. I don't know why I'm actually... Well, I mean, I guess we can run up the path since I just pointed it out. But yeah. Now, I've seen them come up and around this way, but generally they kind of like stumble over all of this stuff, get stuck right here, eventually make their way around here, and then come up this way. And that was before I put all the fencing in the gate there, so who knows now. Um, do we have a big gap right there? Hold on. Well, not a big gap, but a big enough gap, so we're gonna have to put a post there too. I don't want no, don't want no gaps. At least not big, huge ones like that, so. All right, I think we're still in the build area up here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and I think we need to reposition this a little bit because we're going to, um, I think, put two beside each other, which means I also might have to get rid of at least this tree. we make it like a tree house fort. No branches. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. This <laughs> uh, be fine. Not prefab, so floors. That's what we're looking for is floors. gonna be in the way but let's see what it looks like first um, and you know maybe I, if I want to move any of these like oh like if I want to move this over out or anything before we actually decide although that tree kind of is in my way um, hold on we need object snap back on uh, uh, I want you to snap to the floor not the uh, wall Stop it. There you go. I mean, yeah, so that's going to stick out weird like that. So we do have to uh, line this up a little better, probably. Um, I don't necessarily mind that tree right there, though. So let's turn the object snap back off for a minute. Let me grab this. And I don't really want it lower, but maybe we want to angle it this way just a little bit. kind of like into that but we can we can just pretend that it's you know part of the structure okay so let's turn object snap back on um, I actually don't even mind that so I think we're gonna roll with it um, maybe maybe Did I get stuck inside? Oh, 
I was gonna have to fast travel back to the settlement. Which, by the way, guys, if you, if you, as long as you're not playing in survival, if you do ever get stuck um, somewhere weird and you don't have enemies nearby, you can just fast travel as opposed to reloading your game. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know that, um, but I just, I saw somebody mention it recently, like in a Reddit post. They had, um, they were building somewhere and I don't even remember like where or how they got stuck, but they got stuck and they couldn't maneuver their way, you know, and Skyrim it or anything to get out of wherever they were in. And so they ended up, I think they ended up quitting and reloading the game, but, um, you know, even that, that put them back where they were at. And so then they ended up loading an earlier save. So just FYI, you can usually fast travel like right back to your own settlement that you're even working in and it'll put you like wherever the fast travel spot is. Um, all right. So I am for sure gonna leave that tree like right in there for now. We may get rid of this one, I think, because I keep getting stuck on it. And I had actually, um, had gotten rid of, oh, it was a whole cluster. That's why I saved right before, because I was afraid of that. Um, well, hmm. But there was a couple of little trees that were like blocking the path right here, so you couldn't walk here at all. Um, you know what we could do? Could reload that save real quick and let you guys vote. I'm thinking, I mean, I am gonna probably put some like trees back in the settlement, but like, you know alive trees <laughs> with leaves and such on them um so we could put a tree back um that actually has foliage and stuff on it hmm i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments um, right now i'm just gonna reload the save um i can always get rid of that again um and if it takes too long to reload it then i will have uh Yoji cut that out. It shouldn't take too awful long, though. <laughs> so I do kind of like the, the whole tree look in here, but I also kind of like that it's dead. I just wish I could get rid of this specific one. I don't know... If, was that... Is that rock down there something I can move? Maybe I can just nudge the rock over a little bit. It is. Um, which, I mean, it's not horrible, but... If we can... Let's just move this this way a little bit. I don't think it's going to affect too much, but we'll, we'll run on either side and find out. <laughs> no, I think that's fine. This is all the same rock, right? Yeah. And I'm sure it didn't do anything negative on that side. Oh, wow. I bet you guys can hear the lawnmower. When he goes past the window. So I think, actually, what I'm going to do then... Because I will take a little break. <laughs> if he's up there, that means he's almost done. So I'll take a little, dra little break and cut back to when he's all done mowing. Alright. So, while I was waiting...
for DOG to finish mowing, I went around and looked for um, the, thi the thing that I was thinking of for over here. Actually, I think it's over this way. Um, I'm just not digging this thing. So, even though I don't know where they would have found this, maybe it was on one of those trains, but we're going to use this boat crow's nest down here. Oh, hello. Gotta place it in here. Um, so let me just get that set down first. Let's see. We're gonna have to put regular stairs to get up it, obviously, but... But I'm trying to decide if we want it higher so we can take advantage of all of these windows and maybe protruding. Which means it doesn't really make sense to have that little gap there, but rather than. Whoops, it's not quite what I wanted to do. Like that better all the way around. Um, let's see if we can get it so it's not quite. Maybe we have it like right there. And the ladder sticking through the, the fence, but I don't think we're gonna worry about that. And then we'll just have to do something for actual stairs here. Excuse me. But yeah, I think I like that better. Um, let's just jump over the wall here. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, we're kind of sticking through the barbed wire, but we wouldn't even have known that if I wouldn't have. Come out here and looked. So it's fine. Uh, whoop. And I don't think. You know, nobody's really gonna be able to climb that and get in without getting shot. And then we'll just patch this up with something right here. And that was in. You. Oops, USO, Integrated Structures, Vehicles, Boats. Um, I don't know why these don't have their image. They did a little bit ago. Um, you know, they have a few different ones. Uh, I thought about like popping this one up there like on its own deal. It's essentially the same thing. Um, but we would have to put, like, boards and stuff. Um, which we could do, I guess. I like the placement of this, though, so what we might do is just kind of... ...line that up, but I can't place it. I think we'll do that instead of having all that metal underneath and then having the, like, broken stairs be in the way. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Get it close. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I can get rid of this. Alright. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now let's go get some posts. Be clear back out here. And I think we're probably gonna need the super tall ones. They're gonna be 
tall enough. Um, just. And maybe not even on the outside, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we end up with. I can nudge it out some. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just nudge. Oh, but it's picking up the fence instead. Um, all right, well, uh, oh, there we go. I just got a look high enough. I'm actually going to need to do that from outside, though. after I fall off the rock, because otherwise, I'm going to make it really crooked really fast. A couple more. One more. There we go. That, that'll work. Um, and then it looks like we need to then come in this way. We still, oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, looks like we need a little post under there. So we'll probably need two little posts. I think we're going to need one more big one. So we'll actually just put three of these out here. See if we can get it at least close to the same. And then one more. Because I think we want one more right in the center, assuming it doesn't go off of the rock face. But if it does, then I might just like nudge it back some. That's fine. Hmm. Let me just grab this for a minute. I don't have to keep jumping over. I'm pretty sure it will snap right back in place. And there's that one. And there's that one. Oops. Go around the fence. Can't go through it. He's not scrolling to me. What is wrong with these things? Um, there we go. Alright. Is that broken for everything? What that's about. Let's go about right there. Alright, so now we just need some stairs to get up here.
guys thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one